I want to welcome to the show once again, Lil Train awesome. from Mariana Maravilla. What up, man? Hey, what's going on, Dusty? How you doing? I'm great, homie. Good to hear your voice again, right. boy. You staying healthy? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to, you know, just trying to stay cool. It's so damn hot. Man, dog, yeah, it's that time of year, homeboy. It's that time of year. Well, shit, I man, know. I, I want to give uh, everybody who hasn't uh, listened to your last show, I want to give them just a quick little background before we get into it. And I would definitely tell you guys to go to the archives and check out the little train interview. Uh, Mariana Maravilla, he got put on in the early 90s, right? Yeah. Early 90s. How, how long did you do in prison, that long stint? Oh, uh, it was almost 14, about like a few months short of 14 years. Yeah, 14 years in prison. Uh, apparently, Maravilla was one of the neighborhoods that got hit during the infamous Zoot Suit riots back in 1941. I'm just curious if you know anything about that. As far as that, um, there, there was uh, I'm not particular on what neighborhoods it was right there. That I can't quote on the on the on the Zoot Suit riots. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I wasn't there, and I'm not. I'm not that old <laughs> but uh um that i couldn't really tell you on 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 those riots you know what actual waters i hear was 38th street and i'm sure there was a bunch of different ones but i, I couldn't tell you I, I even think there might be some hoods that are no longer around no more mm -hmm. to be honest yeah yeah did any of the older homies ever you know older older homies ever tell you that their older older homies or grandpa or, or aunt or uncle or anything lived through that time you know what to be honest they didn't bring that up you know, um, on on the Zusu rights, you know, they, they it was never. It's not that they didn't bring it up. They probably never brought it up to me. I never asked about it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know if there was or if there wasn't, because like I said, I it, I never asked about it. But I'm sure family, because man, even though LA is so big, everybody's related to somebody. You know, mm -hmm. I don't care. You could be in San Bernardino and you have you have family in South Central. You could be in Compton and have family. In Moreno Valley, you know, it's just Fresno, yeah. whatever. It's just so damn. We're just so everybody's just stretched out with family, you know. Especially yeah. you know, uh, especially Mexicans. To be honest, we just don't have so many damn kids. <laughs> <laughs> you remember back in the '90s and early 2000s when everybody and their mama was moving out to like Moreno Valley and yeah, Ontario, yeah, yeah, all the spots. Huh? <laughs> yeah, because it was a lot cheaper, you know. Yeah. It's like everyone was moving out the hood and getting these big ass pads for you know, for fucking you paying more in the hood. For a little one bedroom shack, you know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and the irony of it is, they unfortunately took a lot of the bad elements that came to L or that were born in L.A., meaning the gangs. And right now, oh, if you guys man. go to like San Bernardino and Marino Valley, they're banging like L.A. Oh, was crazy. back in the eighties, dog. They're they're crazy. Yeah. Out there. I, I've run into guys in prison. They'll be like, "Well, hey, I'm from VNE. and &E. I'm like, "Are they all right?" And they're like, "I'm like, where what party staying?" They're like, "Oh, I'm in Lancaster." I'm like, "What? They're from where?" And you're VNE. &E. I'm like. And he's like, yeah. He's like, he's like, yeah. But I go to East LA every once in a while. I'm like, oh, all right. Like, I'm, I don't even care. But I was just, I just tripped out. Like, he's saying he's from Lancaster. He's from yeah. B and E, but his hoods in Lancaster, you know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. damn, there. I guess does Maravilla have uh, sets in other? Uh, yeah, places? we have we, have, we have a clique out there in Fontana it's called the Bullets. Okay. We've been out there since like '94. Okay. From '94, we have my homie Shorty. Uh, he took it out there, and uh, he took. He just started a click and shit. I mean, at, at sometimes they're big. They were deeper out there. Damn. Yeah, they. You know. That's crazy. Uh, I. And, uh, I mean, there's a bunch of hoods that do that though. That move that start other clicks elsewhere. Yeah, you know, from from Fontana to San Bernardino to, I mean, to up north to everywhere. But like like you said, in San Bernardino, there's so many. There's so many. They have their old neighborhoods like Casa Blanca, and then you got the other ones in uh, Rancho Cucamonga. That have been around for years too, but then you got a lot from LA that just, you know, they branched out and then and they said, damn, they had all this territory, and they, nothing was happening, and they took over, you know. Yeah, but I noticed that a lot of gangs have cliques within the gang. Can right. you kind of explain that? Like, I, I've heard like midgets oh. and winos, like things like that. I, I, forgive me if oh. I'm saying them wrong, but. No. There's a lot of cliques because there's so many. Well, I mean. Some guys, some some guys got really deep, you know, and they get maybe three or four hundred people, five hundred, six hundred. Some even have a thousand. I mean, that was back in the nineties. You don't see that no more unless you're from like ATC or MS you know, or maybe Florence. You're not gonna see a, a thousand, a thousand gang members. You know, you, you look if you get twenty or thirty in, in in the same block here and there because it's everybody's dead or busted or 
do stretches or but the gang injections or, don't allow you know, right yeah, they'll bust but, that up i mean but you would be like back back in the day there had so many clicks because there were so many so many homies so it was it was an easier way to uh, um like keep control of everybody and like 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 you could be well i'm, I'm in this area say I, I stay on these blocks so i'm from this click you know and then i'm over here on this side well then fucking we're from this click because it, it, you're allowed to go anywhere in the neighborhood but it's more like this would be your little area within the hood got it you know got it okay okay i thought it was like a ranking system kind of like like um like football pop Warner mm-hmm. football like they have oh okay you know like what i mean hierarchy. yeah yeah like, no uh, there's no levels of this I mean, don't get me wrong. They, they say some clicks are known for, like, say, one. This click's known for making money, or this click's known for, uh, for, for, for being with that gunplay. And then there's, then there's that one click. Well, man, that's where anybody gets into. Like the ones that are straight, like, kind of not like, uh, they're like whatever. Like, kind of was like, in other words, like, there's no, they don't got no prestige or nobody. Everybody looks at them like whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. And then you got, you got that kind of click in there. You're, you don't want to be for that click because that's like. <laughs> It's all bad. Okay. But other than that, mostly all the clicks are they're equal. It's just like some clicks are known for other things. And then some are just whatever you're at. You know, like I said, like you could be on Third Street and they could have this click, or you could be down on Whittier Boulevard and, and then you could be on this click. It's just the area. It's like the message has been lost. How much money does a black life cost? Every time we kill another brother, we keep them people employed who profit when we kill another. How can we make a change? Instead of pointing at others for the blame Shit, let's put some gasoline on the flame And burn this bitch down if they don't hear what we saying Better be strapped for the peace They talking about defunding police Gun stores sold out for six weeks I'm smelling something in the air and it reeks Black lives matter all the time Not just when one of them kills one of our kind Cause I don't ever see Al Sharpton speaking When Chicago has 30 murders in one week oh, man. How many ever we gon' lose? You tell me what we gon' do. This ain't the waste. Cause they ready to let loose. How many ever we gon' lose? United States, right to the state. If you lose this, you don't be on it. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Pay attention, maybe slow down and just listen It's my state of mind, I'm dreaming, I'm on a mission Trying to push the world for peace, no more hate I got my black fist up in the corner to demonstrate Let's get it straight this time Movement is all over the world, energy divine Where were you when the revolution got started? Black people fed up, more than really departed We all living on this earth, we human, nobody rally Marching in units in George Floyd, chanting loudly how many brothers have to die? We already realize equality's a lie. I'm trying to get it by enemies that be necessary. Red and blue lights flashing behind me can't be very scary. I see the police before they see me. Get out the car, roll the ground down on your knees. Please. The pigmentation of my skin, this current situation Got me feeling like the revolution's about to begin On the different type of vibes, so many ready for change Fist in the atmosphere, sick and tired of the games Being played by these slain, ain't no fucks given Only justification as I fit the description Trapped in the system, just another digit In a private prison, trying to keep the optimism It's tearing me to the core, how many more we gon' lose? We got the right to live a life without you and me Know what we do, enlighten the youth Feed the knowledge, give them tools Running the race, coming out of my shoe Taking it all the way back to my room it's a different time, we ain't going forward You see this power in numbers, keep on ignoring You see us coming together, together we growing They feel the change that's coming, you better know I'm in here, 31, you angry at 16 I'm in here, we
and the other your counterparts the same age as that has that same power. Y'all coming with a better way? Cause we ain't doing it. Oh my God. And I have a five year old son, and it ain't happening. Almost four years ago, Keith Lamont Scott did the same shit y'all doing. The same exact thing night after night after night. It don't matter. Come up with a better way. Do Latino gangs, and I know the term you know, the term OG is pretty universal amongst all types of gangs. But right. do Latino gangs, you know, have do they call themselves YGs, BGs, you know, like like a lot of Crips and Bloods do? No, that's a that's a like a blood and crypt thing. Um, I mean, they call a homie like that's the OG, but like we don't even we don't we don't say OG. We say veterano, you veterano, know, like yeah. he's a he's a he's a veteran. That's the you know OG is more like um like say like it's a black term. Mm -hmm. But don't look at me wrong, people you say OG homie, you know, it doesn't right. not like we're not allowed to or nothing. It's just veterano it's a, is the term that. Yeah, it's the same more. thing. It's like he's a veteran. He's been around, you know. And it's kind of funny though because uh, I know I noticed. I don't want to label or say speak for blacks or anything, but I noticed. I remember like a lot of blacks when I was busted. They'll be like considered an OG, like fucking in his late twenties and shit, mm -hmm. just because he's around still. He survived, I guess, you know. Yeah. And then that OG is to me would be like in his late forties, early fifties. Mm -hmm. You know, that'd be an OG to me, not not in their thirties or nothing or twenties. But what uh, what? What would constitute a veterano? What what is the official universal meaning of a veterano? I mean, for me, it's more like it's a it's a it's a, a gang member that's been been there from the from from when he got into 30, 30, 40 years later. You know, mm -hmm. been like, damn, it's just he's still there. You know, he's still around. That's like that's a that's a veterano. You know, mm -hmm. and that would be like a homie that's just fucking been been from before. From he was a little kid, he wasn't necessarily a little kid, but a teenager to, damn, he's already a middle aged man. That's a veteran, that's a veteran, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, he, what he says is, he, he could be looked up with much respect, or he could be looked at like as a dope fiend too. You know, it could go both ways. It could be like, you know, that dude he ain't worth the crap. All he's all he's good for is fucking to get high. That's all he cares about, you know. And for and it could be both ways. It could be a a veteran that does get high, but he has respect because he doesn't let himself be, be put out there like that. He's not, he's not pushing cans or he's not, whatever he's doing, he's doing it. He's not asking nobody for nothing. And everybody looks up to him because they'll be like, damn, that fool's been through it, you know? And he could be a dope fiend at the same time, but he's not, he's not like they're pu pushing cans or, um, you know, begging or something. I'm a huge radio nerd, right? I, I grew up listening to radio, loving radio definitely a big radio nerd uh -huh. i'm gonna drop an i'm gonna drop a name for you and i'm gonna go in my head i'm gonna say 99 percent that you're gonna know the name all right i'm gonna just, <laughs> I'm right. just drop it on you homie art okay. art lebeau oh of course man he's <laughs> about 95 years old now he's, he's still fucking doing he's it up uh. yeah he's a legend <laughs> i'm gonna tell my people out there man fucking latinos love art lebeau homie. Oh, yeah. and i still they listen love i fucking love art lebeau i listen every sunday on 93.5 and my right. favorite thing is you'll always it, it's it's the shout outs dog you know what i'm saying oh of course I, right. I, oh this is this is for this is for my man smiley from... it's so funny right because he how he says it like he's literally saying a gang member's yeah. name from one of, well, he says it all the same he doesn't he don't discriminate yeah, no, and he don't say smiley he, he says it, and droopy yeah, from lancaster or yeah. from Kyle, from bakersfield yeah, dog is the yeah or coming yeah he could say coming from from Yuma Valley or whatever to, he could say Pelican Bay. He'll say it all the same. You know, yeah. he'll just be like, you know. He doesn't go Pelican he'll even, Bay or he'll just go yeah, Pelican. Yeah, Everything's right? monotone like a motherfucker. Yeah, and he'll blow the kisses and everything. He's yeah. a, he's a, he's, a, he's going to be, he's going to be missed one day. Like, he's a, he's a, he's like a Vince, he's like Vince Cauley of, uh, of old these, you know. Radio. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. like Vince, what Vince Cauley is to LA or the Dodgers is what, what Art LeBeau is to Mexicans, even blacks, you know, oh, not yeah. just Mexicans. Definitely. Everybody, you know, black, I mean, because shit, let's keep it real. Blacks are the ones that, sing all these songs you know yep exactly it's, it's so funny you know yeah. like it, when i was young and a kid like i'm all thinking like get yeah, fucking mexicans were singing all these oldies because we're bumping them all <laughs> we're all gang yeah no i look at them all you see freaking barbara mason you don't see you don't uh, see maria 
fucking Escobar. Yeah. You know, you see, it, it, it's all, you know, it's all, it's all, it's all African Americans. You know, and yeah. it, it, it's like, well, yeah, that's that's the culture right there. That's so true, man. That's so true. Um, give me three names that every hood has. I would say uh, Toker. Oh yeah. Uh, Mm, even Joker, Joker <laughs> and then uh, um, one more name could be like a uh, Shorty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's so many though. Yeah. There's yeah. so many. Yeah. No, no, I feel you. I feel you. So Toker uh, would be the stoner, right? The guy who probably smokes a lot of weed. Yeah. There's Duke too. Duke's a very common name. Duke, okay. you know. Yeah, I feel like Duke is a big motherfucker with muscles. And yeah. Shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> Duke. Yeah. Duke. Yeah, he could be a he could just be a, a straight, a, just a straight fool, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then you and it's funny because you got Capone, and then you gotta live up. There's people that are named Capone, and they don't even live up to that name. You know, you never have a name like Capone. It's like our gangster, and then you don't, you're not even about that really life. Like yeah. it's you never been busted, or you never, you know, it's like and it's kind of funny, but it happens every once in a while that a guy will have a name that he just doesn't even live up to. Yeah. Yeah. And you got then you got your play on ones, you know, he's he's fucking big ass fool named Tiny. Gotcha. Or like I got a homie named Fat, so that dude weighs a hundred pounds, Skinny you know? Shit. Yeah. Yeah, he's been fat spon sponsor in Spanish, or fat so in English, it's like he like I said, he weighs hundred pounds soaking wet. I'm curious, what was what was the big drug like in your area or in East LA, you know, when you were coming up? You know, besides the oh. obvious like weed and shit. Oh, it's definitely uh, crack and heroin. Uh -huh. Crack and heroin, okay. Crack, heroin, and Sherm. Oh, yeah, Sherm. I yeah. hear Sherm a lot. Yeah, those three, those are three money makers. Mm -hmm. Crack crack makes so much money, but it's just a headache, too. It's a, it's a good money maker, but, like, they'll come and bug you at all hours and day, hours and hours in a day, you know, like, yeah. and it just don't stop because it, uh, and, and then heroin, it's like, you got to watch out with heroin. If you're going to sell heroin, you, you, you got to be prepared to be told on because, a heroin addict gets busted by a cop. He'll do with whatever it takes to go home. You know, he doesn't want to get sick. He doesn't want to go to jail sick. You know, that's the worst thing ever. So if you if you're selling that, be prepared to have your door kicked down. Damn dog. Cause that's a that's a that's a drug day. It's like, yeah, you go in there kicking that. It's it's all bad. You know, and especially a female will. Well, a female heroin addict is the worst because she has no um. She's not more likely she's not from the neighborhood, so then she has no ties. And she's probably a prostitute. And then, if anything, if she has kids, they're gonna throw that in her face. So it's like, heroin is a is a is a bad drug to to want to sell. Damn, dog. Did you ever sell dope by any chance or drugs? Back then, it was crack. Mm -hmm. Back then, it was back then it was crack. No, did you did you ever purchase? Yeah, that's what that's oh, what that's okay. what. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, that that was that was the money maker. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Like I said, that was that was that was the big that was the big money maker. Yeah, that messed up but, our neighborhood, homie. I mean, that messed up. A lot of yeah a lot oh of yeah you see dark. all the you will see right there all the all the all the antennas ripped off mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. yeah you see smoke they, you, you go to downtown because every time where they wouldn't have nothing to pick up in the like my connection would be dry as dry as fuck and, and it'd be a friday night and I, and I would actually on everything i love i would go strapped up to downtown la and deal with whoever i had to deal with you know i, I ran to bloods Crips, wherever in uh right there san julian 7th street and you know, I'll be like, let me get half a zone, or let me. Which again, fuck. Sure enough, they'll they'll get it, and it's it was just crazy because you know, you I'll give like I'll give like a old 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 dude right there, crackhead right there on his cardboard. I'll be like, here, give him a tester. He he hit that shit right in front of everybody. You know, he ain't cheering. the cops and driving by. They don't they ain't gonna they ain't gonna do nothing to him. You know. Yeah. It's like you know, it, it, it it's crazy out there. You know, fucking. But that was that was that was a drug right there. That was a. Uh, that was a money maker, you know. They they say, oh, well, you know, you gotta sell, you gotta sell pounds and and kilos to make money. Hell, not now a crack. You could sell ounces and make thousands a day, you know. Damn, dog. Easily, mm. and if you're 20, 18, 17 years old. That's a lot of money, thousands of dollars a day. Damn. You know, you make five hundred dollars a day at seventeen, six oh, yeah. years old. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know that people don't make that in a, a week after taxes. Yeah, real talk, man. You making five hundred dollars a day tax free? Come on. Yep. Real talk, man. Yeah. You know what? You mentioned women earlier. Yeah. I'm curious about women gang members. You know, we know or we, for anyone who doesn't know out there, uh -huh. women either, from what I understand, they either get jumped in or they get sexed in. Is that a myth or well, is that true? 
I've never seen the sex and I heard about it. I heard when they talk bad about somebody that they say sex, but I've never seen the sex. I mean, I know the homies have run trains on, on girls with anything and done shit like that, but usually they, they get jumped in from my point. But for my neighborhood, the girls jump in the girls. Well, they had a clique called the Monas. That was the only clique for, my, for, for females. Mm. And um, they jump them in, you know? And yeah. We've had a couple of fucking down-ass homegirls that wanted to get jumped in by by the guys that wanted to get into one of our cliques, but we wouldn't do that. We're like, nah, you, you guys, huh. girls have the one clique and that's it. You know, you can't be from our cliques. And they'd be like, fuck that. Nah, I want to get jumped in, blah, 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 you know? Damn, We're like, nah, you, you're going to be down as big. But that's the kind of girl you want, you know? Mm, that's yeah. the kind of homegirl you want from the hood, you know? Yeah. And, uh, Are they crazier you know, than the dudes? Like, is the average girl gangster crazier than the average male gangster? You yeah, think? you know, kind of are because they have to do a lot more to get into the... You know they gotta put up on more, a lot more shit. So they, half of them are, to be honest. You know, because you know you, we already know what's gonna happen to a girl as far as, as far as, if they have to go up against a guy or whatever. So you know, a lot of times the females are are they got more heart than a than a, than a dude because they're a female, you know, and they and they, and they ain't taking no shit from nobody. For us to recognize that our nations have worked together for security and peace. And dignity around the world. In Paris, the most ambitious agreement in history to fight climate change, a new sustainable development set of goals to end extreme poverty, to the American company health and education, a debate across this country tonight. For all a business in Wisconsin implanting microchips in its employees in the skin of their hands. So, what are they tracking, and would you say yes if you're supposed to do the same? Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat I had to rush out of my bed Cause I was late for work My motherfucking rent is due And my boss is a jerk Pencil pushing at the job An intermediate clerk My mama told me to go to school I'm going bananas berserk I work every day Don't know where the money goes My girl is big and pregnant Want me to paint her toes Only a high school diploma I'm smelling the aroma The greenery is burning in my room But life is a mama seat She glad to meet ya She bad coming soon <laughs> Better get the broom My nigga you clean up your house She got a little more time to back out Cause she ain't your spouse But do I love her? I need her Maybe respect how I treat her But when I see my baby I'ma wanna go and feed her Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace yeah. Steady job and some food to eat I was born in a space and time where people were stupid Everybody looking for love, fucking with Cupid Who did whatever they wanted to do with black fist up Stand to opposition, keeping Hennessy in a cup Drink, nigga tell me what you think about God The Bible is written by man, so people think of a side Form your own opinion before you listen to white men The system has got you on American bandstand And when you get home, you gotta look in the mirror Take off all the makeup and the wig is more clear I fear a day when I can't smoke my weed I drink my drink, my nigga, you know what I need But success is a motherfucker, shoes to feel I got a baby at home, I need them big time deals This shit just got real, it's going down tonight Somebody gonna get jacked, hope they don't put up a fight Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job and some food to eat Blow that smoke right out your lungs You go to church every Friday Now you're speaking in tongues You gave up chilling with friends Pastor got a bend Repenting on your knees Confessing all your sins to the end How far will it go? Why you naked, boy? He eating all your candy Tasting your almond joy Troy, I can help you Let me take you to outer space If you're looking for God Meditate to the perfect place Race, we moving at the speed of light Traveling fast through a black hole And in my day 
days and nights I'm trying to fight against the norm My eyes are open, you see Cause I can only be me Not what you want me to be Classy, nigga born in the 77 Daddy named Orlando My name Kevin Lucille, my mama The girl true raised me Kevin and Delilah They having a baby Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job is some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job is some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job is some food to eat Just give me a little bit of peace Steady job is some food to eat Back then, when you're fucking young, you think it, you think it's all family, but it, it's more half the time your own homie's gonna tell on you, or your own homie's gonna kill you or hate on you. you yeah, know? see, and that's why I do this show specifically. I get yeah. once again, I get shit. People tell me that I, I glorify gangs. I'm not glorifying gang life, man. When I do this show, I want people to hear exactly what Lil Train just said right there. He said when he was coming up, everything was real. It was 100, but as he got older, it was all a facade, man. So these are the these are the little gems that that I'm trying yeah. to drop on you guys. It's not about glorifying this shit. It's about real life. And look, dude, yeah. is this really the life you want? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you'll get. On any channel, anything that has to do with prison or gangs, you'll get a bunch of people talking talking shit about me, saying, "Oh yeah, if it was a weenie, fuck, he don't know about gang man, he, or he's a pussy, or blah blah." Because of what I say, how it's how it's how it's all watered down in this week. Because they're living that life right now; they're still young, mm -hmm. and they think the gang is everything. And, and you know, they 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 haven't done that stretch; they haven't done that fourteen years, or they haven't even done that two years, you know, mm -hmm. and or they haven't been. In, the, the hood doing them wrong or nothing. They, they, and hopefully it doesn't happen to them, but they're thinking like the hood is everything. Well, one day they're going to realize that fuck now, nah, you know what's everything is that last name on that last name that you, that you were born with mm -hmm. your family, you know, that's what everything is. Mm -hmm. And and it's going to take something like doing a stretch or almost getting killed or them. and when you're home, your fucking baby's mama or some bullshit like that. Yeah. It's going to take something big like that to open your eyes unless you just, can get tired of it and just say fuck it i'm tired of fucking waking up with no money in my pocket or how am i gonna hustle today or i don't have a car or i don't have a house or i don't you know mm -hmm. i don't have a fucking i don't have a steady paycheck or whatever you know yeah and some people want to live like that and shit i didn't every at a point when i was doing my term i started realizing i think it was about when i got to 30 years old i was like fuck this is so this is how 30 years old looks you know i go now nah, this gotta be a change i gotta um, I got promised myself when I get out, I'm not going back. And second, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make my money and I'm gonna have a family. And fuck, I have all that. You know, I got a 2020 Chevy Colorado truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> fucking 22. You know, I got a fucking yeah fat ass gold chain. <laughs> I got a fucking beautiful fucking girl. Yeah. You know, my fiance. I got. I mean, I got a good ass job. That's I fucking been out to you and, and and anybody could have that. I got fucking my head's fucking tired. I got big ass double M's on my head. I got fucking my neck everything. And I fucking work it. I work with fucking white people and everything. They don't fucking judge me, you know. That's so dope. it can be done. That's dope, as fuck, man. Yeah. So it's it's fucking. How old were you when you got the the two M's on your head? I'm just curious. Oh, uh, I thought it was twenty. Let me see, twenty four, twenty five. I thought it was twenty six. Okay. Yeah, my Sally was like, "Fuck you, fucking." He's like, "Hey, let me tell on you." I'm like, "You don't fucking tell." He's like, "Ah, fucking tell." He goes, "I don't draw." He goes, "I don't, I don't do, but I do letters and stuff." I was like, fuck. He's like, let me put your hood. I'm like, well, fuck it, you know? And then so he put the Mariana on my stomach. That was that was the worst pain I ever been through. Uh, I fucking, that shit was like, oh, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I cheated. I kind of tapped out. There was a... He said I cheated. 
I actually did. There was a homie, he gave me some of those Tylenol T3s. Okay. He got a little coating on it, so it kind of numbed it a little, you know, when they were tiny, because that fucking, that stomach, the turkey hips, that shit ain't no Ooh. joke. <laughs> ah, that shit yeah. sounds painful, dog. Yeah, oh. you know, I was like, right when he was barely quitting the first line, I was like, I wanted to quit. I'm like, what did I get myself into? I know a girl that pops a perk before she brushes teeth. I know a dude that snorts coke at least twice a week. I have a friend who's married, but he still be fucking bitches. And his excuse is that his wife is always fucking bitching. I remember, hold up, sorry, I forgot to mention. I know a girl that used to cut herself to get attention. To get attention, I would always used to get detention. Getting suspended was my only life's mission. My little cousin went to jail, now he's facing life. Promised my aunt I'll look after him, but I lied. Working 60 hours a week trying to stack cheese. Ignoring texts from my family members every week. I'm a deadbeat cousin missing birthdays Promised my dad that I'd call him on Thursday But it's Saturday and I haven't hit him yet I know one day that is something that I will Slow get. down Take your time and focus Sip your potion Oh, slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip your potion Oh, slow motion Yo, yo Yo. I write rhymes for the masses, introductory classes, bringing you up to speed, can't see, go get your glasses, we gon' mix it with the little honey jack, got the cherries at the bottom, you know I be eating that, so much going on in the world today, I think we need to slow down, chill, meditate, let me fly in the sky like birds, I'm using my imagination to script it with the words, so let's blow clouds, I'm sending you much love, I'm held down by gravity, my spirit is up above, hop in the sky, take a ride with me, 485 horsepower, Hit me. Now we gone in the wind, dipping off in the sunset Moving at the speed of light, car looking like a jet I bet it was another who wanted to shine But I'm two steps beyond, baby, this my time Slow down Take your time and focus Sip your potion, oh, slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip your potion, oh, slow motion Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Now it's just them chemtrails trying to take us out, man Population control, so the devil your soul For the money and the power, yeah, the ultimate goal Let that sink in, smoking on some clone guy I feel like I'm sinking in a pool full of liquor and coherent Sober up, then I do it again Determination of a tortoise with the speed of a hare I'm blowing past some seas like I blow my smoke in the air I play this game to win this if I was on double dare And I'm always welcome back like my name was Mr. Carter Rubber, like I burn my leaf Hard for me to slow down when my kids gotta eat I'm in the belly of the beast, maneuver like Jet Li Translation, man, I'm quick on my feet Quick to defeat, that's my suspicio Or get hit with this heat What? What did he say? Can you repeat? That's my suspicio Or get hit with this heat Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh, slow motion Slow down Take your time and focus Sip the potion, oh slow motion Let's take yeah. it back to 19. Let's go. What year did you get put on again? I'm sorry. I asked you that before, but I smoke a lot. Oh, more. like 96, 97. Okay. Let's let's go back to 96, 97. What was the typical attire for a cholo from from foot, <laughs> from foot to head? Oh, man. Frisco Benz, Ben Davis, ben uh, Davis. the Charlie Browns, the Cascade shirts, the Ben Davis shirts. Um, I mean, if you if you're. If you're low budget, you probably have some Dickies and some old ass Cortez. But if <laughs> if you're if you're doing it, you know you had your Krista Levi, the Krista Krista Friscos, yeah, Krista Bands with your new Cortez. You know, I used to always have Jordans. You know, yeah. I I don't know, I had my pair of Cortez, but that was that was just like for the hood shit. But I was, I like to support Jordans. Yeah. But um, but yeah, you would have a 
and then you even had those solo shorts, the solo uh, solo shorts creased up, and then um, yep. but yeah, for the most part, it was um, it was a Cascade shirt, so it was known as the Charlie Brown, and it was the the Stanford shirts from J C Penney, the white the white tees. Uh-huh. Now everybody wears Pro Club. Nobody even wears the Stanford shirts no more. They wear the all the everybody wears Pro Club t-shirts. And even back then, they used to have the Triple A shirts. And I don't even know if they still have those no more, but now now it's all pro club. But yeah, it was uh for the most part, it was um Ben Davis, Frisco Benz, Dickies, Levi's. I, I used to like the Dickie Corduroys though. And uh yeah. yeah, but um it's funny now I see those clothes and I and I've seen like it's kinda like you go you look on videos on YouTube and they'll show dudes like in like in Mexico and stuff, and they're like backwards, they're they're dressed like in the nineties now, that gang that like the, the big pants and everything all creased up. And it's just like, like to me now, it just looks funny. It just it doesn't look right, you know. Like I can't see myself wearing something like that. <laughs> it just, it just. Uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, I don't wear tight pants or anything, but I just don't wear. I'm not gonna wear a size 56 for uh, Frisco Benz, you know, free stuff <laughs> with some uh, safety pins holding my holding my pants in so they don't yeah. drag under my shoe, you know. Remember that? Oh, dog. Oh, yeah, I remember so that shit. Hell yeah, damn. damn yeah, but you know, but then, I'm, I'll tell you. But one thing is, as I was like. Even though, like, the people say, "Oh, man, they look like clowns because the pants are so big," nobody would, nobody was no more neater than than a homie than a cholo That's because so true. everything was creased up, everything was cheated up, everything was nice and crispy, you know, from the shoes being uh, cleaned up with a toothbrush, you know, to no lint on, no lint on a on a hat to a, a shirt to anything to a jacket, you know, everything was just perfect, crisp, mm-hmm. crisp, you know. And it, yeah. it didn't help. You didn't have a job. Like all day that you were just ironing your pants or something, <laughs> <laughs> right? But you couldn't. That's one thing uh, you can say about like very clean. You know, very neat. You know. Yeah, I can. I can smell the starch and the three flowers now, dog. I'm telling you, yeah. it took me back. And it's good. Yeah, and even like a lot, like a lot of a lot of a lot of blacks from back then, same thing, dressed the same way. You yeah. know, always fresh. You know, from, they called it fresh. Yeah, all. Yep, uh-huh. uh, same thing. You know, <laughs> you, you'll see a little like YG. He'll try. To, he'll try to throw a little. Cause, you know, he his older homies from back in the day. He's more a young cat, but he 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 tried to throw a little bit of that style every here now now and then. Yeah, you yeah, know, and it's it's cool to, to go back, you know, to, from the old school. You know, just like so you don't have to have size sixty pants, but you can have that that mentality of having your clothes neat, crisp, crisp, crispy. You know, yeah, you don't have to be looking like a weirdo to be cool. You know, you don't. Nobody has to look like Kanye West. You know, only Kanye West can get away with looking like Kanye exactly, West. Exactly, you know? dog. Only he could wear some sweats that probably cost four hundred dollars, but look like they cost eleven dollars. Exactly, like, with those fuck? shoes that you don't yeah. like. You know, those moccasins, or you don't know what they are. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man, that's crazy, dog. Well, that's hey, the truth. little train. It's been a pleasure, yeah. man, and we already talked about it. There will be a part yeah. three. Lil Train's going to be a, a consistent guest on my show. I really like his vibe. I like his energy. Yeah. I like his his stories. But next time, once this COVID, vi- COVID thing is over, we're going to have him in the studio. And, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I'm really looking forward to that. But uh, Lil Train, homeboy, it's always a pleasure, man. You be safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon, all right? Yeah, you too, man. Bless it. Bless it, you and everybody that you mess with, all right? Thanks, thanks, homie. Have a good night. I'll talk to you. Peace. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. Yeah, man, I like that dude, man. Good dude. You're not even wet. Wet. What's wet? What do you mean, what's wet? You landed in the river, but your clothes are all dry. Illusion, that's all. Just an illusion. Like that jukebox playing in the corner. That's an illusion, too. Who's really ready to get this shit poppin'? Stay the bond in this motherfucker, we not stopping. Lock in the game ahead of a time, but that was 20 years ago. We still killing the rhyme. It's the reunion, unification of the dopest singers. I still throw it up and I'm still making the singers. I'm a grown ass man with a lot to live for. Barefoot, walking on the sand and seashore. Chilling, living my life to find a better way. Overlooking the ocean before retirement day. And I'ma get it because I'm different, not like you. Mamba mentality told me to do it. I do creativity, I'm a leader. I balance the scales, giving my gift to the world like show and tell, but don't well, I'm a package and maybe you will buy it, just give it one verse when you listen, I'm, I'm trying to tell me different. different, I don't know why I do what I do, I just don't want to be like you, I don't know Cool. I'm a little bit we go from the third eye wide.
wide open, open. other two eyes cloudy Cause of all night smoking on some clone guy fire yeah. Got me higher than a UFO Breathe through your nose, hold that smoke, relax, exhale slow Down the rabbit hole we go, never searching for the tricks Fresh come out that night from what they say and they legit Experience, seize the moment, opportunist I make love to the pressure, but I go all in and cease to exist Don't get me pissed, your whole style gets drowned in the abyss Can't ride my wave, I leave you in a rush, do rack list Swim with the fishes, can't find your body, no reminiscing And now you're wishing, you never fuck with the birth of never ending Lesson learned, I'm on your head, lace front burn Pass through your skin, now you addicted, nigga derm Never ever cross the line, you will get burned Just sit back, take notes and wait till turn I'm a little bit different It's lights out, I be all in my feels Melting into my couch In another time zone In somebody else's house In the twilight zone And the tambourine man tells me about his whole plan Clouds turning into sand, oceans turning into land There's a gun in my hand and a penny in my pocket And I don't even know if I'ma make it to the rocket Cause they just counted down in the at three now So I'm running through the clouds with my luggage and my bible And a smile on my face cause I'm in another place Where the turtle wins the race and he throws it in your face I don't give two fucks about it, yeah you know I'm about it About it, shit subscribe to the newspaper, read all about it Shit, read the whole book cause the cover's kinda plain I'm a little mess Stop if you know what I'm, I'm saying. I'm a little bit different. I don't know why I do what I do. I just don't want to be like you. I just don't want to be like you. I'm a little bit different. Cause the sky ain't always blue. And the moon ain't always new. And the sun ain't always cool. I'm a little bit different. Beginning to colonize. My friends will be arriving very shortly. I think they're going to like it here. It's a lovely area. So... So remote, so pleasant, so off the beaten track. Just the perfect spot for a colony, don't you think, Mr. Haley?